All right, well, it says offline for me still. Let me know when we're ready. Oh, man. Oh, I can see us. Pop, can here see we us? go. Yeah. All I right. Guess, I guess we're live. We're live here in the, uh, the crowd. This is a crowded hall here in the, uh, what are we calling this? The West Halls here. It's South Hall, actually. South West hall. is registration if you're in person. Oh, I don't even know where I'm at, but this is good. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cloud Native TV. This is the Daily Recap Show. Who are you? I'm Bill Mulligan. I work for the CNCF. I'm Dan Papandrea. They, they people call me Pop. So today is in a bunch of co-located events. I actually was part of one of them. It was the EBPF Day. Mm -hmm. um, Duffy, by the way, is a little late because he's closing EBPF Day. Um, it was an incredible day. Um, Bill, do you know what EBPF is? Uh, I've heard about it. I heard it's the hot new technology on the block. All the cool kids are doing it. But can you, can you give me a little insight about what you learned today? That's a great question, Bill. You've been doing this a long time. Um, so, like, basically, EBPF is uh, enhanced Berkeley packet filtering. It's basically like a tap into the kernel. What I love about it, this is CN EBPF day, so it's cloud native. So it's a lot of projects like Cilium, like Falco, which is I'm the community leader for, and as well as we had Microsoft. So Microsoft had a, had a, um, purchased a company called acquired a company called uh, Keenvolk. Mm -hmm. And so they were part of this. And the whole day, we're just showing folks uh, end user stories. So Apple was there, Google, um, a bunch of you know folks came on um, and talked about how they're using EBP eBPF. Wow, that sounds like a great event. And what was your favorite talk from the day? Uh, the Apple Falco talk. Not just because it was, but it was like, <laughs> I'm being dead serious. I mean, they really, like, it was a back and forth. So they had somebody who was uh, in, the, in, the, in the slides, Melissa. Uh, from Apple basically was talking to Eric in the slides was asking a question He was responding to the question in the slides. It was very cool I mean I, again every one of those talks I was a part of the program committee every single one of those talks was awesome because which camera on guys we, we, oh, Right there we're number oh, one. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, you know everyone is special to me because the program committee was is great. It was Liz Rice um, Thomas Groff mm -hmm. um, Geez, uh, Loris Dijani from, from Sysdig as well, um, and also Andy Randall and Chris Cool from Microsoft. So uh, it was all these groups we all got together. We had this idea a couple of months ago for it. We talked to Chris Anacek, and you know, it was like, there's a Wasm day, let's do an EBPF day. So it really was, it, it really was good. So there was also some other events, right? Yeah, to talk about? that's awesome. But before we jump into that, I just want to say, if people are wondering what this is right here on my lap, this is an iPad. I'm watching this stream. You can please like comment, ask your questions if you have any comments from us. Looks like we have our first comment. Hello, folks from. Uh, it looks like Carlos from Berlin. Uh, if Carlos I Pinado, great man. I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, one or two times. He's um, six tour of uh, Falco and Kubernetes. Really, one of the release managers for those. Can you say everything he does in open source I, in one breath? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot. Like if you, oh, if it was like a dollar for everything he worked on, we'd be really, we'd be broke. Oh, oh, we're, oh, we have the wrong Carlos. So this is a shout out <laughs> to Carlos from Raleigh, uh, USK native dude. Sorry. Uh, oh, it's okay. The, the, I know. So that's another. It's Car Carlos in Brazil, is or uh, no, from Raleigh. From Raleigh. Okay. Who works on K native? Okay. Hey, shout out to you, Carlos. Um, but shout out to the other Carlos as well. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, cool. Yeah. So we had a couple other like great. Uh, you know what I realized events. we didn't do what. This is a this is a disclaimer. This is a Ooh. CNCF broadcast, <laughs> right? And so we follow the code of conduct. So please, everyone, please be kind and wonderful to one another. And thank you so much for joining the ch chat. Why am I so animated, Bill? <laughs> I'm so excited for this set. Did you all see this set? This came from like Bill and all of our brains, and we made this happen. So I'm so excited for it. Yeah, I guess maybe if we're talking about the set, we can give a little shout out to all the logos behind us. I, I know a lot of people have heard about Cloud Native TV. It's the new live stream show for the community, by the community. It's a lot of great hosts talking about different ways you can get involved in Cloud Native. So for instance, um, one of my favorite shows, actually, I'm CNCF, we're neutral, we don't have any favorite children, they're, they're all equal to us. Um, but shout out to David McKay from the, let's see if I can do this at the right time. Recently a new dad. Recently a new dad, oh, that's the wrong side. Okay, on this side, if I point to the looks good to me logo. <laughs> 
uh, is teaching people how to contribute to cloud native projects. So you go on the stream with one of my maintainers and he talks them through. He's like even, you know, merge pull requests live. So become a contributor to different cloud native projects live uh, on a live stream. So Pop, uh, I, I know I know you like to talk about your show, but uh, I don't I'm not talking about my show. I'll so tell you okay, one other I'll, other favorite logo I don't on again here. children, all of them. I mean cat <laughs> kills it all the time. I'm really happy with Bart's show, Art is Code. It's a brand new show that we st started airing. Latinx, Leonardo, great show as well. I mean, got to give a shout out to Siam for Certs Magic. Again, really cool. And by the way, if you're all tuning in right now, Duffy's a little late. Um, he is finishing out the CNEBPF day for this co-located day. This right here is a recap of the... Um, there's been a bunch of co-located events. We have PromCon, we have um, EnvoyCon, Envoy Con, we have the Identity Spire Spiffy Day, um, which was a lot of talks. Cole Kennedy did a really good talk today. Um, I hung out with Cole last night. Great dude. Yeah. Um, and we then, have Getting Started with Kubernetes, hosted by Google Cloud. We have the Cloud Native for Eclipse Foundation Day. We have EnvoyCon. Uh, we have Production Identity Day, PromCom, Supply Chain Security Con. There's a virtual crash course in MTLS and authorization for Kubernetes with Linkerd. Virtual recruiting messy schema migrations with Schema Hero. Virtual Rook Enterprise Storage for Kubernetes. And the roadback of TIKV, a cloud native key value database. I so. mean, action packed. And what, by the way, even in the sessions, I kind of walked around a lot of the sessions. You know, even all things considered, and again, uh, the CNCF has done a wonderful job in terms of keeping everybody healthy, all of that. I think, um, you know, the, the, the turnout has been really good. Also, look, when you're virtual, you're coming in and being part of this. We want to make sure even the folks at home are, are part of this. Again, all this week, we'll be doing these recaps so you can see what's going on. You can feel part of the action. Anybody else joining on us that we want to... You don't on, or want to talk about that yeah. in the channel. Uh, there is a question for you. Pop. Yes. Where did you leave your wig? Um, are you talking? So I played the part today <laughs> of wig store Jesus, uh, as basically because of Dan Lawrence. He's the he's six store Jesus. Um, wonderful dude. Again, he's um, uh, he, they put together the software supply chain con. Um, I will uh, not be wearing the wig again until maybe Dan comes on again. You never know. If he's going to come on the show, we'll, we'll do that. But uh, I don't have the wig on me. Yeah, hopefully a little bit later. Yeah. Um, we also have a special guest with us today, our, our first one for today. Uh, it's Misha here to come talk come about up, his experience. He's a first-time attendee of KubeCon. He's looking around in the audience, getting excited come to come on, on There's on a stage. lot of people oh, yeah, here. Yeah, hey, don't up. know you, buddy. Yeah, we, we met him right before this. Uh, super excited. He apparently installed uh, Minikube for the first time last night. He, By the way, some trivia. You know who created Minikube? Dan Lorick. Dan Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence. Lawrence, yes. Yeah. Come on so, up, buddy. Yeah, Misha, thank up. you for coming on. Hi. Here, you can take this seat. I'm not doing anything over here. Here you go. Sure. Here you go, bud. Sure. That's not my good side. Okay, well, All right. welcome, welcome to the live stream. Uh, so for thank you. the folks at home that don't know you yet, uh, yeah. can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, my name is Misha Herskew. I work at a, a Primary Venture Partners uh, early stage generalist VC fund in New York. And uh, I'm just here to learn more and see what exciting projects I might come across that could eventually lead to some kind of, uh, you know, startup, basically. Okay, that's awesome. And so how did you first hear about KubeCon and like what really brought you here today? Yeah, so I've been exploring a lot of different, uh, I have to think about what I can say. I've been exploring uh, a bunch of different ideas in just generally the open source world. And in a variety of conversations I've had over the last few months, I've heard people say like, oh, and I'm going to KubeCon. And uh, after hearing that enough times, I was like, you know, maybe I should be there. It sounds like it's a place to be. I'll be able to learn a lot. And uh, so far, that has definitely been the case. Um, I spent most of the day just kind of uh, talking to random people and learned a lot, had a few deep conversations uh, about Kubernetes, about what's going on in the ecosystem and some other projects. And yeah, just learned a lot from a lot of people who were really willing to kind of spend the time to chat with someone who doesn't really know very much about uh, Kubernetes. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I think what people always tell us is the cloud native community is like very welcoming and it sounds like you have a little bit of that today. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the people I was talking to actually mentioned this. Uh, humans have, are by nature fairly tribal and you see that <laughs> at like football games. But like uh, this is an area where, yes, it's a tribe, you know, but it's a very welcoming tribe where it's kind of open and ever, anyone can walk in and meet people, be welcomed in, learn a lot. 
Um, in my last job, uh, I used my kind of the most similar thing is I had used Docker and ECS and Fargate, and I hadn't used Kubernetes. So I kind of had one starting point as an analogy. And I think if you have even just like a tidbit of knowledge about like what's going on and what the problems are that are being solved, it's like you know people are willing to spend the time to really bring you through how things work and yeah, what the what what's going on that's exciting and who everyone is. So yeah, I had a great time and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. Paul, that's awesome. Do you want to tell us maybe a little bit about, like, what's one thing that you learned today? Oof. Um, so, the, a lot of the things I learned today are actually things I don't want to say live because it's, the, the, the benefit of being here is it's not that, you know, if I want to learn, like, uh, how Kubernetes works or something, I can learn that online from tutorials. But what's different is being here, I learned, I can, I'm thinking of several specific examples of how things really work at real companies that are like, you know, like big public companies, for example, yeah. stuff, stuff like that kind of insider insight that you just couldn't get from just like Googling or watching a YouTube tutorial about how Kubernetes works or something like really seeing how, how different large companies and small companies are solving some of their uh, problems in terms of like DevOps. And uh, I'm looking into some mach machine learning projects around that. Uh, but uh, yeah, just I've got, I'm getting some kind of insider insight about where people's priorities are and how they're solving their problems, which is really fascinating and valuable. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's awesome to hear that you're having the experience already on day one. And there's four more days to go. Now, I won't press you too much on what the next unicorn is going to be coming out <laughs> of New York, uh, but tell me a little bit. Like, what are you excited for for the rest of the week? Like, what's on your schedule? Yeah. So, um, geez. I can't say too much. I'm excited for uh, all the booths to be open. I'm planning, like one really? of the things I'm most excited about, there's a whole long list of startups that you can see uh, on the website and on some of the banners and just in there. I'm excited. I'm excited to just walk around and see, talk to each person at their, at their booth. What are you guys working on? Yeah. What are you guys excited about? I'm mostly here to listen and learn. I don't have necessarily one hypothesis or like, like angle I'm going for right now. So I'm, I'm here to just absorb as much as I can from the community. Wow, that's awesome. It sounds like you're in the right place now. Definitely feels that way. L last question. Uh, LA, you know, opposite coast. Is it East Coast, Best Coast or West Coast, Best Coast? <laughs> I, you know, I'm in LA right now, so I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> okay, but what's one thing you're excited for this week in LA? Um, I've already been invited to two different parties that are being put on by uh, sponsors of the event. So yeah. I'm excited to get out and socialize uh, in a much warmer place. Yeah, awesome. Glad to have you here. And thanks for joining us on the stream today. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, great to meet you. Yeah, so there you have it live. We just picked them up not um, off the conference hall. Um, and that, that is a real reaction to day one of KubeCon Cloud Native Con. People really do enjoy KubeCon, Bill. You yeah, see that? That's yeah. a real person. This real, real we interaction. We <laughs> thousands of people in the crowd right now, and we plucked that per guy out, <laughs> and it, it's magic. Yeah. So, it's great. Right. So we have a couple reactions to that. Um, yeah. There is also, if you haven't seen it yet and you're joining us virtually, there's a Slack channel you should join, KubeCon uh, Hallway Mix and Mingle. This is All a great right. one to interact with different people. And you know, Favorite thing <laughs> at KubeCon, hallway track. Oh, yeah. The Mix and Mingle, it's my favorite thing. Look, we were all in Zooms. We go, you know, basically every single day for the folks that are remote, Dims, uh, Carlos, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, so Carlos Santana, if there's so many other people that are, that are running stuff that basically you join that channel, you can talk, you can interact, but they do Zooms every day, so if even you're virtual, you can kind of interact with each other. Yeah, so if you go to the hallway mix and mingle, uh, you'll find the Zoom link every single day. So you can have the same kind of interactions, the same kind of deep discussions that you're hearing about in person. You can have some of that virtually too. Um, uh, a couple other comments uh, from the stream. I uh, learned about the community and how people really use Kubernetes. My first KubeCon was an info overload and shocked by how much reach Kubernetes has. Uh, party with common sense and meet people if you're here in person. <laughs> the greatest open source community that has ever was, that has ever been, is Kubernetes. The cloud native community is what nurtured that. So today, again, in the EBPF day, we had Sarah Novotny, who's one of the people that is one of the matriarchs of our community. You know. 
she basically was was helping to like ensure the event was like she talks she's now in the closing panel as well but like this whole thing that ner what we need to do is show inclusion and stuff like that you know this gentleman came on stage and he's like this is my first kubecon well we welcome you and all of us were that one first person right so you need to ensure that like people are having a great experience yeah, absolutely. You know, it's somebody showing up new every single day. I remember the first KubeCon I went to in Copenhagen. I was like, wow, this is a whole community of awesome people doing great things. Like, how can I be a part of this? So uh, another question, is there a hallway mix and mingle in person? Uh, yes, there is. It's called walk around and make some friends. Um, it's actually in the hallway, <laughs> which is a foreign concept <laughs> if you've if you may if have you forgotten were... <laughs> in the past 18 months. But there is hallways here. I can confirm we're on site. We may do a live stream and just take the camera and go through the hallway. So you all have that hallway experience. But anyway. Look, I don't know if we have the budget this year for that. Maybe next year we'll do that. Yeah, so. Priyanka, if you're uh, hearing us now, uh, make sure you have a little line item for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally, shout out to Bill here. Bill has been, like, he's our CNCF liaison for Cloud Native TV. And I, I think this is the first time we've ever been on a stream together, dude, because we put on so many streams. I don't think this is the first time we've done one together. That is a very good point. Respect. Yeah. yeah good. put you through hell. <laughs> All right. Behind the scenes, uh, I put this guy through hell. So the last nine months have been the worst and best of my life. <laughs> Dude, so no, demanding. It's, it's been awesome. All right. So other co-located events today. Uh, a really big topic right now is supply chain security. Um, I know that one got kicked off by the newly launched company ChainGuard. I don't know, Pop, is there anything that you wanted to see about like software bill of materials or supply chain security that you missed out on because there's another awesome co-located event that you were hosting? So I actually was part of the software supply chain. I walked he in. He does everything. I'm, I just, you know, I put the wig on. I was wig store Jesus. And basically, long story short, um, they had you know the solar winds folks talking about you know some of the things that happened to them and using cloud native to be able to address those things they had um dr alan friedman uh who basically wrote this you know kind of the specs for the term sbom which is software bill of materials um i'm part of uh stag security so you know technical advisory group uh and they're you know building a reference architecture for software supply chain which shameless plug for tomorrow uh cloud native security day uh conf is tomorrow another co-located event. But again, in terms of software supply chain, um, you know, they hit it out of the park. Also, shameless plug, we did, uh, there's a video there that we did, uh, that, that old tripod and the Popcast, which by the way, if you haven't seen, pop, at Popcast Pop, uh, we did a video that talked about Operation Salsa. So it's, you know, the, the salsa levels, which are like,